What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I have some tips and tricks for you guys to help power up your character, especially in the earlier stages of the game or if you're a newer character or if maybe you're struggling to get to the higher, greater lift, rift levels, you know, all the way up to the 120s and maybe you're stuck down here in the 80s or, you know, 90s and you just can't get to that next stage. Tip number one is the guardian set. Craft the guardian set. You can get the guardian set in act one or excuse me, from uh, doing uh, bounties inside of Diablo 3, so you can craft them. It is called the Guardian's Jeopardy set. Now, what makes this set so powerful is that the three set piece bonus, so you can use it with the Ring of Royal Grandeur, okay? So the Guardian set gains an additional 100% of your base, dex, strength, intelligence, vitality, attributes from all of your equipped items. So a good example of this is, if you look at my sheet damage here, we have 225,000 on damage and 18 million on total toughness. Okay, so you're gonna see how big of a difference this, this makes with this set. We have a Ring of Royal Grandeur here. Boom, I go to 424,000 damage and 65 million toughness. So I double my damage and I triple my toughness. So not only is this really good for just dealing more damage, but your survivability goes through the roof. So Guardians is definitely one way that you can do it, but I think tip number two is definitely the better way, or at least the better way I would do it. As soon as you hit 70, you need to go in, do Nephilim Rifts, and grind to get Greater Rift Keys. And then once you have these, you need to do Greater Rifts, does not matter what level that you want to do them in the earlier stages at torment six the highest you're going to be able to do is 25 i would go down and do like torment one just to farm to get gems and the legacy of dreams gem is the one that you want this is such a powerful gem in the early stages from torment six all the way up okay especially before you get your guardian set it's going to give even a bigger boost than your guardian set so Legacy of Dream says you have, when you have no set bonuses equipped, every legendary item you have equipped increases your damage by 97% and reduces your damage by 2%. The bonus is doubled for ancient items. So as you're leveling and you're grinding up and grabbing all these legendaries, you wanna have Legacy of Dreams. Now I've leveled this up to 25 because this is the base. Level 25 is the cap to where you get the uh, secondary uh, bonus here, which is the bonus is double for um, ancient items. So you just throw that in and you're gonna wanna put that on a slot. Okay, so now every single time, every legendary item is gonna give us a 100% bonus. We have 13 item slots. So that's a 1300% bonus and then 2% damage reduction. Two times 13 is 26% damage reduction. It's actually pretty good. So this is a huge, huge buff. So yes, we do not, it does not show it here and this is the tough part. So you're just gonna small, see the small damage increase from equipping our COE, but you don't see it here. It's only gonna be applied when we're dealing damage. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to the Fields of Misery just to showcase how strong the build actually, or this um, item actually is. So let's just go fight. Okay, we have no set pieces. It's really hard to deal damage and kill these guys. Look how tough that is, right? Now let's throw on our ring here. And then boom, look at us absolutely annihilate, okay? Now for context, I wanna show you guys the Ring of Royal Grandeur with the Guardian set. Okay, we're gonna put this belt in there. You guys have already seen how much damage we do, right? You know, it's not bad, we're doing okay. It's kind of tough to kill these guys, not too bad. Now let's put Guardians on, full Guardians. It's a little bit easier. You have better survivability and you still do pretty good damage. You're getting rid of them, not too bad. But when you dump this and then you put on Legacy of Dreams, look how you absolutely annihilate the entire board. And this is on Torment 6, guys. We have no set pieces and we have a level 25 gem. Okay, even if you had a lower gem, you would still be able to dominate at T6, at T10, at T12, and just crush. After you have used those first two tips to complete your first four chapters, which and then will give you your, your patterns of justice set. So let's equip this, okay? We crafted, we have our set here. 
right? We got our gems. We got all that stuff. Now Legacy of Dreams is done. We don't care about it. We're over it because we're going to get the massive boost here. Now, if you still want to even jump higher, we can still rock Guardians. So you can see here we're at 23 million still, right? Boom. We go up to 70 million and 605,000 damage. So that is the next step. You can combine Guardians with your set pieces. Now you've hit 70. You got your set pieces. Now it's all about boosting, right? So the next thing that you need to do is find all the pieces. You're going to farm for all the pieces to complete your set. So for example, in this, I'm missing a weapon and, I, and I'm missing a bracer. Until you find those items, you use the Guardian set to help you farm or the Capsin Crimson set to help you farm everything. Everything else that you need. Now, the additions here for survivability is putting the right gems inside of here. So in most cases, the Imperial Gem or the Imperial Diamond is gonna give all resist. Almost every class uses all resist, except for the intelligence-based classes because you want armor. All right, so you just slot these in. You want the, excuse me, you want the higher gems, but you can see how much toughness we just jumped to. We have 98 million. If we take everything out, we go to 70 million. So gems, even if they're lower level gems, is a great way to increase your survivability and your toughness, okay? The next thing is, is putting uh, emeralds or diamonds, or excuse me, emeralds inside your weapons. At the moment, I don't have slots, but for this example, I'm gonna just take two and just show you. So you see our damage as at 605. We're gonna put these in here. Now, if you happen to find the Ramelands gifts, that's fine, use them. But otherwise you could always re-roll to put in a, a weapon slot in there. Or if you find a weapon that's just missing a stat priority and you have the slot in there, that's great too. But then you're gonna put in here, so we're at 605,000 sheet damage. We go to 705, 805. So now we boosted our damage even more, okay? Again, you can use any gem. Obviously you wanna get the highest ones, but any gems will work. Super, super strong buff for your character. Now, the next thing is, is using your cube. The cube is making sure you're getting the right stuff here. This can be all of the weapons and stuff that you need to help your character out, to boost the strength even more. And this is very important to make sure your cube stuff is correct. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is to, to boost your character's power, is stat priorities. So you have each gear piece has stat priorities here, and you wanna gear them towards whatever build you're doing. So for example, this is a Patterns of Justice build everything is going to be using tempest rush all of our damage is through tempest rush and all of our damage is cold damage this is very important so on our helmet we have an increased wave of light by 14 percent so this does nothing for us we're not using wave of light so right now we're we have a slot wasted on our gear pieces where it could be something else now in our helmet the majority of the time we always take critical hit chance because of the big damage buff that it gives us in some cases you would want to add the tempest rush damage stat priority here because it gives you even more damage on tempest rush so in this case we want critical strike or critical uh, strike chance is what we're looking for so critical hit chance now we have the stat priorities that we want for our helmet now what you're going to want to do is apply this to all of your pieces you can look up a, uh, a build guide. I have plenty on my channel, guys, if you want to look those up. But the next thing on top of that is your elemental damage. This is also a huge priority. So on top of getting your stat priorities, you want all of your elemental damage that's going to come from, most of the time, it's bracers and amulets and rings. These are the other, pretty much all the ones that are going to be using um, elemental properties. Now, with Tempest Rush, we are a cold base build. Right, so all of our damage is gonna be cold damage. So when you have items that are gonna give an elemental type, we want it to match with what, whatever we're using. So in this case, cold. So we just wanna roll cold. Normally I would want the crit hit chance here. I would just roll the life per hit to crit chance, but for this example, I just wanna show you guys. So hopefully we get it, which would be great. Cold. So even though it's not a max 20%, because 20% is the max, 
you want to have the cold matching because now I'm going to do even more damage. It's not reflected here on our uh, sheet damage here, but it is reflected in our details. Before we didn't have 27% cold damage, we had 20% physical damage, which doesn't do anything for us. So it increases the damage dealt by skills using this element by 1.1 million is our cold damage. Our Tempest Rush does all our cold damage. So now we do even more and we just annihilate boards, okay? That is it, guys. That is all the tips that I have from you for leveling up your character once you hit 70 at Torment 6 and then grinding the way through, getting your set piece, and then adding the additional gems, getting the, the set pieces that you need for Guardians, getting all of the items that you need to complete your set, and then putting legendary gems into your gear. All of these tips are going to help you get to level 70, get you to Torment 16, and just absolutely smash everything we're on torment six now i'm gonna go up and change this to torment 16 because this is great and then boom you're gonna be able to just fly through everything i really hope that these tips have helped you guys out the diablo 4 beta is over so we're back to diablo 3 for another two days so like the video guys if it has really helped you subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace